Hey guys, today I'm here to react to the trailer for Fantasy High Junior Year from Dimension 20. I am so, so excited for this. They originally announced it back during the, I think it was like a couple months ago, maybe a month ago. Time is a weird soup, I'm not quite sure. But they announced that there would be a Junior High coming, which I think has probably been the most requested campaign ever when you're asked like anyone who's a part of D20 like, what would you like to see next? Junior high is obviously what they're gonna say. I don't even know when sophomore year came out. I feel like it was quite a bit ago if I'm remembering correctly. Let's see. Fantasy high sophomore. OMG. It was October 16th, 2019. That seems so far away. I mean, it's like four years, but that seems so far away. I didn't watch sophomore when it originally came out either because Dimension 20, like the first season that I did watch for them was Fantasy High. It just so happened that I didn't watch it when it first came out. I discovered it. Actually, I've been seeing like the compilation of like Gorgo with asking people if he's his dad. I remember seeing that first on YouTube and I like started a bunch of times and then I finally watched it, but then I still didn't watch Dimension 20. So I, it must've been when they started to put them on YouTube. Something made me be like, I think I was homesick one day and I was like, you know what, perfect time to start this. I had probably just gotten into like Critical Role too because it's like around the time when I started getting into like Dungeons and Dragons and all that and I absolutely loved it. I mean, so much happens just in that first season. You get episode two. That's where like the, the meaning of you've been episode two came from. The corn cuties, I'll never forget. I think I like actually Snapchatted the moment like I was reacting to Riz being like, can I go up the corn cuties butt? <laughs> or like the big corn monster like, Forgot the tables. How could I forget about the tables of how no one could roll for jumping up on a table without falling on their butts? Iconic. There are just moments you'll never, ever, ever forget. And I love these characters so much. They're so meaningful and important to me. And like, I love all the new stuff we've been getting with Dimension 20. And you know, the different actors and GMs and DMs that we've been getting, but there's something about Fantasy High, babes, that just feels like coming home. It's that combination of comfort characters and all of us dealing with the trauma of our high school experiences that it just feels great. And I, I don't even think I fully realized, like we're gonna see Jawbone. Like I'm so excited for all these characters to come back into my life. We're gonna see Galir, the man, the myth, the legend that is Galir. And I'm just so excited. So yeah, let's check out the trailer. Enough squawking. Hoot, growl, hoot, growl, hoot, growl, hoot, growl, hoot, growl. Oh, that's another thing. Hold on before I even get into this. I wasn't even thinking of this, but like thinking of where like sophomore year, even just like thinking of original fantasy high freshman year, like how far they've come just in terms of like updating and making things even better. Like using the screen now instead of it just being like that monochromatic color, the way they've stepped up like their set designs, their audio production, like everything like that. Just seeing it now is literally, I feel like when like you love a movie, right? You love the first movie. And it's got kind of a small budget. So like, it's a great movie, but they did their best with what they had, right? And now this movie is a blockbuster hit. They're going special effects. They're going all out. And I feel like that's what it's gonna feel like. And I'm just so excited. Junior Day. Lou, I've missed Lou too. Hi, intrepid heroes. Junior Year. What? Look at the background. I'm already like distracted. I'm trying to pay attention to what they're saying with the background. The bad kids are back. <gasps> oh, I love their minis. <laughs> yeah, don't ask the rich guy. Baby in. Look how buff Kristen looks. Dang. Oh, Riz. He always has a special place in my heart. I wonder if we'll see Penny pop up. Are you my dad? Yeah, instead of a rage, I feel that. We get a song? What the heck? I just can't get over how buff Kristen looks. I'm sorry, I can't get over it. Yikes. 
Oh, the sets already look so cool. I like the cemetery one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that's so cool. January 10th? Wait, that's way sooner than I thought. I literally thought it was gonna be like late January. I feel like that's what they said originally when they announced it. So that's why I thought, honestly, that there was gonna be something in between Burroughs and junior year. I just thought like, you know, time-wise, they don't really usually have a big-ish gap between seasons, which this isn't even a big gap and it's the holidays. So like obviously people deserve to rest and take a break and just relax. But that's so much sooner than I thought. I also wonder how many episodes it's gonna be because Normally the seasons are like 16, 17 episodes, the like longer seasons, but then the last one they did never after was 20, which was an extended season. And I didn't love the pacing. I felt like the pacing was kind of off, which again, it's their first like large season. So that's bound to happen. There's bound to be some growing pains. And I would love to see these characters for a longer period of time. But I also think like 16, 17 episodes could work fine. I think it's so cool to be with these characters. Cause I mean, the thing that I love about Dimension 20 is that you get so much variety. Obviously you get like different seasons. So if there's like one season that is not your favorite, chances are something else next might be something completely different. I mean, just this year alone, we've gotten literally a Stolt family, a campaign that literally took place inside someone's mind. Like, you know, there's always such different things. But with that, you're not getting to be with characters for a super long period of time, which if they never get sequels is quite sad. So that's why I think these guys are always like so important to me because we do see them and we do get to see their growth year and year in. And I feel like high school, there's a lot of growth, right? Just from like a person, like not even throwing in like all the fantasy aspects of it, but just like high school in general, going from freshman to sophomore to junior. It's so different. The way you're feeling is so different, but also like the expectations people have of you are different. What you maybe could like be more lax on freshman year. Now people are on your butt about junior year or something like that. And I think it'll be interesting to see like the parents, how they kind of fit in with this. Also just like what the thing is, because I do think you can get a little repetitive. Maybe if it's always like, we've got to save the world. Like I think Golden Horde was a fabulous villain because it was close to them you know so I'm hoping that they can pull something off great with that again but also yeah just seeing the characters and who they are now I think will be really exciting and interesting because they've grown so much and they've done so much exploring like physically mentally they're different people and it'll just be cool to see how they react to new situations and like I said outside of story wise it's going to be so cool how we have like different things on the dome itself like different projections the set design too I mean the sets have always been wonderful <laughs> like just amazing but they literally look just unbelievable like just from the little hints we got of them I particularly like the cemetery one like I think that looked really cool with like the fog rolling in and I'm just ready for the chaos like I Dimension 20 in itself is chaos but these guys together are especially chaos and these guys adds the bad guys together are especially chaos and even just like seeing them in their like original CD makes me like so happy because I still have like Never After and like Starstruck in my head and stuff like that since it has been so long since we've seen new ones for this you know and I really like that it's not a live show I feel like that kind of took away from sophomore for me was it just didn't work for me as a live show like I feel like they're very much like I go to them for like the tight editing and especially they've gotten so good at that now with even like it's such a little thing but with Burroughs End, like I loved in the finale when we got to hear Bria like on a walkie talkie and then the audio itself made her voice sound like she was on a walkie talkie. Like it's just all that kind of stuff that really puts you in the world of it. And I'm excited that this is going to be that because I feel like it'll be a little bit more clean and a little bit more well edited and stuff like that. So I'm just really excited to see what's going to happen. And yeah, how like if anyone from the seven is going to be in it because I feel like they kind of you know, they're, they're NPCs, but like they have their own person who plays them now. So I'll, it'll just be fun if like they pop up or anything like that. Arthur Eggford, I feel like I haven't even fully processed the fact that he's going to be in here and probably telling them that they're going to get expelled out of school. I mean, that's just kind of his MO, right? Like he told the seven that like they were disbanding their group at the end of the first episode. And probably this one is going to start with telling them that they're going to be expelled for not showing up to classes or something like that, which is actually quite funny because I do like the reoccurring gag that like, 
Fig does not go to her bard classes. And I know they kind of worked into her character, but I just would like now if it's like a one-off that now becomes like, no, you're gonna fail because you haven't been to classes. And it also is just so like stereotypical, right? Of like, I saved the world and you're telling me I'm getting kicked out of class because I didn't go to class because I was busy saving the world. Like there's just something so unjust about that in a way that would specifically piss you off when you're a teenager that I love, you know? So I'm really, really excited. I think it's gonna be so fun. And they're back, baby. They're back. Like, I'm just so excited to see not only what it's going to be like, but what it's going to be like really seeing like a junior version of these. Like, it's junior year, but it also feels like they're matured, right? The characters are different, but like the set's different. It looks like way more elevated. They're all, I feel like, a lot more comfortable playing D&D &D and being these characters, seeing it's their third go around. And I'm just so excited. I'm sure they'll get into... Who knows what kind of shenanigans I'll probably cry many times, but I'm excited. So yeah, if you haven't seen the trailer, please feel free to leave your thoughts about it down below in the comments and what you're most looking forward to, what you anticipate this season to be about and everything like that, the character arcs we might get and things like that. And yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!